Many athletes use caffeine for a number of reasons, including performance enhancement, weight loss, and central nervous system stimulation. But the question is, does it work? And are there any risks involved? What about energy drinks? Stay tuned and let's find out. Hey, so you want to go for a run? I'd love to. But first, let me drink my Coke. Huh. All right. Oh, boy. That's how the pros do it. It's good. It's good. Let's do it. All right. Let's go. Caffeine is the most widely consumed self-administered psychotropic drug in the world. It can improve performance because it causes a heightened sense of awareness and a decreased perception of effort and pain. Dosage is something to definitely keep in mind when taking caffeine as a stimulant. Trial and error is key here. However, a reasonable starting dose is 2 to 3 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. Studies have not shown a dose-response relationship, meaning as the dose increases, the performance does not increase. Adverse effects are more likely to occur at a higher doses of 6 to 9 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. There is scientific evidence that both caffeine and coffee consumed at an appropriate dose can enhance performance of endurance at ultra, and at ultra endurance athletes such as distant runners, cyclists, cross country skiers, triathletes, and adventure racers. Many people associate dehydration with caffeine intake, and while this can be true at high dosages, most athletes' hydration or electrolyte status is unaffected due to caffeine having the same diuretic effect as water. What about weight loss? Some athletes may state that they are using caffeine to lose body fat. However, studies show caffeine by itself does not have a substantial effect on fat or weight loss. Therefore, using caffeine as a weight loss supplement is not recommended. Hey, uh, can I get a ripple? It's gonna cost you. Oh. Caffeine is addictive, and sudden withdrawal results in severe headaches, drowsiness, inability to concentrate, and feelings of discontent. Addiction has been documented with doses as low as 100 mg daily. If you are a routine user, some tolerance can develop. Caffeine consumption greater than 500 mg a day is associated with anxiety, irritability, insomnia, headaches, and gastrointestinal distress. Energy drinks are commonly consumed by adolescents and young adults. These drinks are popular among high school and collegiate athletes, triathletes, and adventure racers because they can mask fatigue for 60 to 90 minutes. There is little evidence to suggest the ingredients in energy drinks, other than caffeine, positively affect performance. Energy drinks are not regulated by the FDA due to the FDA classifying these drinks as nutritional supplements. Therefore, caffeine levels are also not regulated in energy drinks. When the dose of caffeine is too high, the athlete runs a risk of feeling overstimulated rather than energized, which may be detrimental to training, performance, or sleep. Other side effects include heart palpitations, GI upset, headache, chest pain, seizures, insomnia, anxiety, and sometimes can lead to depression. With the increased side effects and the fact that energy drinks are not regulated, they are not recommended as a caffeine stimulant. To give you a better understanding, this is a list of different types of beverages with their caffeine content. Hey, so. Hey, Aaron. What happened to your hand? Oh, you didn't want to know. Hey, it's that time for that urine test again. All right. Good luck. I hope I have enough. Here you go. Let's pass. Hey, thank you. We'll
we'll let you know, okay? The National Collegiate Athletic Association lists caffeine under banned stimulants. A positive test is considered 15 micrograms per milliliter and would result in an athlete disqualification. However, it would be very difficult for an athlete to reach such a high concentration with normal food and beverage intake. For example, you would have to consume 6 to 8 cups of caffeinated coffee 2 to 3 hours prior to testing. As for the World Anti-Doping Agency, they monitor caffeine use, but do not disqualify athletes based on urinary ca caffeine concentration. This allows athletes to take cold remedies and drink caffeinated beverages as desired. Three out of four elite athletes consume caffeine before or during competition. The highest use is by triathletes, cyclists, and rowers. However, very, very few have urinary concentration greater than 12 micrograms per milliliter. As you can see, caffeine can be an effective stimulant for endurance to improve performance when used properly. Although caffeine promotes fatty acid release, fat burning does not appear to increase during exercise. Just remember, athletes should consider both the risk and the benefits before consuming caffeine as a supplement.